Hey, Philip. Hey, Sammy. It's Tuesday. I'm here at the top of Blue Ridge and Mountain High at the northeastern corner of Los Angeles County. Ish. And the rain is no longer a problem because it's snowing. I miss snowboarding so much. I couldn't wait to get back to the slopes. I don't know if you remember this, but this is where I got my nickname. This is where Snowflake began. Nonetheless, I skipped Snowflake this time and I just went up the big slope. Okay, I did the challenge that I set myself. I read one of the ones I haven't read from the BBC Top 100. I read Life of Pi. Amazing book, highly recommended. There's gonna be a ton of spoilers in this, so if you don't wanna know the spoilers, don't watch the rest of this video. Okay. Now, Life of Pi, if you don't know already, is the story of Pisim Patel, a little boy from India who has to immigrate to Canada with his family, who are zookeepers. On the way to Canada, their boat sinks, and uh, he is left on a life raft all by himself, except that it has an orangutan, a hyena, a zebra, and a tiger, obviously. Quickly enough, all the other animals die, and it just leaves him and the tiger. He ends up having to take care of this tiger because otherwise it will eat him. So he ends up fishing for the tiger. And he gets it water so that they both survive. Then somewhere near the end, they get to this magical island that eats fish and is completely inhabited by lemurs. Then finally, the story returns to Canada. He tells the story to a pair of investigators, but they don't believe him. So instead he comes up with another story. Telling them, here's another option, it doesn't have animals in it. And actually there was a, uh, a French cook who murdered everybody else, not a hyena. And that I murdered the French cook, me being the tiger. This extra bit annoyed the hell out of me. The story was magnificent and the, I know ambiguity adds to a story because then you can discuss it. But did we really need this ambiguity? I mean, it's bad enough. Uh, the island and at some point he hallucinates it that it's obvious that he's having some kind of mental breakdown so you're not sure what's real and what's not and yet do we really need this extra piece do we really need to say hey here's another explanation of what could have happened it was so amazing considering how all his zoo descriptions were all his training descriptions were he managed to master that tiger and then they just made it nothing his great struggle from a shy boy to this monstrous of a tiger thing. Yes, it's very symbolic, but it was just a symbolic him overcoming the tiger. On the ride home, I was just peeved that I couldn't have filmed my way falling down, I mean sliding down the mountain. Philip, Sammy, that's it. I gotta go.